an estimated 87% of children and adults will have caffeine. So that's in the form of teas, coffee, soda, chocolate, energy drinks. About two thirds of people who consume a large amount of caffeine also need to take sedative drugs or medications to help them go to sleep. It's thought that the peak effect of caffeine is about 30 to 60 minutes after consuming the beverage, and it can be in someone's body for anywhere between three to 10 hours. It quickly crosses the blood brain barrier, so people may get a sense of uh, euphoric or pleasurable feeling, maybe a sense of well being. So, the way it works is caffeine blocks the adenosine receptor. By blocking the adenosine receptor, it increases the cyclic AMP enzyme. So, this cyclic AMP is more active in the neurons, which sort of gives caffeine that little bit of a stimulant-like effect. So it can increase well-being, help energy, help with concentration, increase one's motivation to work, decrease feelings of fatigue or sleepiness. Although the reason I'm talking about caffeine is because there can be several side effects of this substance, including psychiatric side effects. It can cause anxiety, irritability, sleep problems, stomach upset, nausea, twitching, muscle tension. There can also be a withdrawal effect. For example, if someone's using caffeine regularly, they can have a withdrawal reaction if they stop it suddenly, and that can lead to headaches, fatigue, tired, anxiety, irritability, some depressive symptoms, stomach upset. The withdrawal effects typically can start happening about 12 to 24 hours after stopping caffeine and can peak in one to two days. Typically, it's thought that the withdrawal symptoms will resolve in one week. And if someone does have a headache, they can take something like aspirin, Tylenol, or Motrin to take that away. If somebody is looking to cut back on caffeine, it's recommended to do so gradually, maybe cut back by like 10% each day, or maybe stop altogether in one or two weeks time. So go down gradually. Uh, some healthy methods or some ways that can be recommended is replace caffeinated beverages with decaffeinated beverages. So the reason I'm talking about caffeine is uh, it can be a culprit to many psychiatric issues. It can worsen psychosis in people who suffer from schizophrenia. Uh, it can cause anxiety. It can cause irritability, sleep problems. So just be mindful of how much caffeine is being used uh, on a regular basis, on a day-to-day -day basis.